Hello everybody, how are you today? I am sitting here looking out the window at a extremely gloomy and rainy day, but that doesn't mean that I can't be all fun and sunshine and my thoughts be, you know, happy and sunny. Anyway, so today I wanted to talk to you about New Year's Eve. Now I know when we were young, New Year's Eve meant staying up all night long, watching the ball drop, possibly kissing a boyfriend, you know, going out and dancing and just having a good time. And as you get older with children and marriage and all of it, it kind of goes, it, it adjusts. Let's just say it adjusts as we get older. I do remember when 2000 hit, you know, there was a whole thing about the Y2K and about would the clocks work? Would they not? Going from 1999 to 2000, and we had gone to some friend's house, and our children were still young, and we were all drinking champagne, and the children wanted to, of course, participate too, so they had um, apple juice, but they still thought it was champagne, and they called it shampoo, so they were cheering with their shampoo. Well, so I'm talking today is, how do you cheer? Do you cheer with champagne? Do you cheer with shampoo? Do you do you just go to bed? And that's, that's happened before to me in the past. So I wanna share what my outfit is this year, what I've already got it planned. And um, it's pretty basic, but for New Year's Eve, I've gotta have a little bit of bling. So it's got a little bling. I have been known to dress in head to toe sequins. Yeah head to toe sequence you can see in the photo here. <laughs> it's head to toe sequence. Uh, a black sequin duster, a black sequin leggings, and, a, and sequin uh, camisole. And I love this look. I think it is fabulous. And if I was going out on the town, going to be out with my husband dancing or watching the ball drop or whatever from New York City, this would be my outfit. But that's probably not going to happen. Last year, my outfit was extremely laid back. Yep, that's me in these black satin pajamas. So it just depends on you wanna curl up on the couch, watch TV, head to bed early, or how your New Year's Eve is gonna go as to what your outfit's gonna look like. So this year, we plan on going out to eat at a nice restaurant, and so I wanna dress up but I'm not quite going for that full out bling looking. So to this time, I'm in black and white. So here's my outfit. I love this outfit. I think black and white is a gorgeous color combination. It is classic, it is chic, it's elegant. And if you ever find yourself thinking, I don't, I don't know what to wear, choose black and white. It's, it'll, it'll go with anything. It goes for everything. So black and white is always a fallback on, a color combination I fall back on whenever I can't think of anything I wanna wear. So this is a white sweater, V-neck sweater, and the bling, of course, is coming partly, <laughs> I have a little more bling than this, but partly from the jewel sweater. I love this. It is a nice, nice sweater. It is a nice weight. It's kind of, heavy, but I was afraid, honestly, I was afraid that the jewels, the rhinestones, would be too much, too heavy, and pull on the sweater, and it didn't, so I like that, and I'm keeping the sweater, and it is, as I said, what I'm going to wear for New Year's Eve, and I paired it with a pair of sequin leggings. Now, I think these leggings have already sold out, but I will link to some similar um, when you go into the post. These, I'm not... I can't decide if I like these or not. So they have sequins only on the front. And I get the idea is because, <coughs> sorry, my dog. Shh, let's see. So I get the idea of why having sequins only on the front and that way it's when you sit, when your legs bend, etc., you don't have the crunch of the sequins. So they are comfortable. I'm just not sure what they look like, you know, to other people looking at you. So you guys will have to let me know what you think. Yes, for sequins only in the front or no, they need to go all the way around. And I actually am wearing a pair of black sateen uh, slingback shoes. I love these. They have the embellished 
bow crystals. This bow look on shoes is huge this year, this embellished crystal look. I have these shoes in pink and in black. I love them. They were from Walmart and they've sold out. But I did find some extremely similar and I've got those linked for you also. The last thing I'm carrying with bling is um, a rhinestone handbag. This is very small. It's a hobo style handbag. So it's kind of, it's not real fancy. It's not real in your face. It's just kind of laid back. You could wear this with jeans easily because it does have this hobo style, but the rhinestone makes it fancy enough to carry out anywhere you wanna go. This is super cheap. It's from Amazon. I'm not gonna spend a ton on a bag I'm not gonna carry real often. And I honestly probably won't carry this real often. And I don't know if this style will be one that stays in very long, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend a ton on this. All of this is linked for you. And I think I have some cute earrings. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Scrolling, 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 scrolling to look at what my post has got in it. Lots of stuff in it, I promise you. And I, I do have earrings. I'll link to those. I think those are some David Uriman. Uh I like wearing silver and gold together, like in my watch. I don't have my own my bracelet, but so I had some David Uriman. I ordered some David Uriman earrings that have a slight bit of gold in them, but they're so expensive and they're not very big. They're kind of non I don't know if I wanna pay that much money for something that's not flashy at all. So they'll probably go back, but I wanna show them to you anyway. So anyway, I hope you guys are getting ready for New Year's Eve. I mean, Christmas is just around the corner. So it's time to start thinking about it. Whether you make resolutions, don't re make resolutions. Whether you go to bed early, whether you go out and party, it doesn't matter, New Year's is coming. So make sure you leave a comment like the page if you do, you know, subscribe. It's always nice. <laughs> and I hope you have a great day.